Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. Stitches. getting worse. It makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me any shit. I need some air. House meeting in five minutes. That's... that's good. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Oh, fine.
already made my decision. Well, Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this. We don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend. They got attacked. Yeah, right. Whoever she is, they're probably Leave her out there to die? Better her than us. You'd have done the same. It wasn't the brightest idea. Oh, what fire in your rifle was, huh? Next time we'll just put up a neon sign. <laughs> About to get eaten alive. And you're telling us it was a dog? Yeah. Yeah, I know. It sounds crazy, but look, for whatever reason, I think she's telling the truth. Look, there's no point in arguing about it now. She's in the shed. She's not going to hurt anyone. We'll just see what's what in the morning. But Carlos said she could die. She didn't get on to it. I see she doesn't come. That's me. The girl's really done. If the infection spreads, anything's possible. It could definitely get a whole lot worse for her. Don't we have penicillin? There's something that could, you know, stop the infection from spreading? We have some, but not enough to spare. We're not wasting anything on her. What if one of us needs it? Look, I'm just saying we can help, that's all. We need to think of ourselves first. That's just the way it is. Clean. I'll still need some bandages and something to keep it from getting infected. They have to have medical supplies around here somewhere. Man, sometimes. Damn it. Just need to have this baby. <laughs> Thank you. 
let it be okay and let it be his. Not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. You're not supposed to be in here. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. What are you reading? A book? What book? I like books. It's called The Gurgles. It's about transdimensional body snatchers. Cool. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. You want to see it? Uh, it really wasn't one of them. It really wasn't. Okay. Ew, gross. I know, right? You have to bandage it like my dad does. I know. Help me. I just need something to clean it with. I bet it would be with the rest of your medical supplies. Yeah, it is. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be super old. Yes, we are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. Do you promise or not? I promise. Me too. Friends. Pinky swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. Okay. I better get somewhere safer to do this.
this is gonna suck. part. No. Just like last time. Just how Krista showed me. Get in here. Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a babe. I did. I took stuff. And I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. 
Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? Might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. Definitely. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway... Hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. 
So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Well... I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He's the reason I keep my hair short. What uh, happened to him? The same thing that happens to everyone, but he saved me first, lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah, he was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, you're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Luke invited me to stay. Good for him, but that's not how things work around here. We make decisions as a group, and you're wearing out your welcome. You got what you came here for. Now go. 